Hello and welcome Pokemon fans, I'm Professor Squirtle and we are back playing Legends Arceus. And if you do enjoy today's video, please do leave a like and consider hitting that subscribe button while you're down there. So let's get going into episode 3. So I've literally just walked out of the headquarters after getting our next sort of mission, which is to learn the basics of crafting. And Anthe has just said, well done, earning a place in our team. My name is Anthe, and I'm the local Clovier. Ah, I thought it was the chap behind us. The professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes. So here you go. I do hope they fit. Everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail yourself of the village's humble shops. So, obviously we need to find, well, I was going to say Akari, but she, I think she found herself. Found us instead. This way to the crafts works, Professor Squirtle. So, we're going over there to where the waypoint is. Let's go, show me how to hopefully craft a Pokeball. You can use the workbench here at the crafts works anytime you need to make an item in the village. So that bench right there. Okay. And I'll supply what you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready to begin. Call it my way of saying congratulations on joining us. Just spend the money you got from the captain and clothes or whatever you think best. Go on to the workbench, choose an item to craft. In this case, a Pokeball. Okay, so you can use the workbenches that are... Okay. Obviously, you just need the necessary... The materials needed, yeah. So let's craft. Just press A, I'm assuming. How many can we craft? 20. So we just made 20 Pokeballs, just like that. And we've completed the basics of crafting. Ahoy! Now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench my boy you'll recall of course that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down with the pokeballs we craft we can make use of that power to catch them also that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in the Pokedex and on that note here you are oh we've just got our own Pokedex Ah, okay. So it is just a book at this moment, but that's fine. So let's open it. Tasks with unreported data. Report to the professor about this new species you've managed to catch. Okay, so it's... Just basically, we've got to report to... The professor about what we have caught that's fine I prepared this volume just for you I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region you'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokedex the same goes for me of course I've also got Pokemon to research as a survey corps member <clears throat> I'll be happy to explain more with about the research tasks I use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands camp whenever you are ready, my good Professor Squirtle. Okay, so that's where we're heading to next. Hey, excuse me, I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands camps, camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. <laughs> Let's have a chat. What do you need, my friend? S hey, so, this there's this Pokemon called Wormpool. Have you heard of it? Yes. Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Laverton, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience, through battling and the like, 
it will sometimes change its appearance and becomes stronger. He said it has a phenomenon called evolution. Everyone knows about that. <laughs> and so I decided I want to raise a worm pool myself and have it evolve. You're part of the survey corps, aren't you? If you can, if you catch a worm pool, could you let me have it? There'll be a reward in it for you, I promise. Just get me a worm pool if you can. Okay. So, what do we have? Toshi. I know Shinx's ears had odd markings on the inside, but what are, were there? Huh? No use, I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the survey corps? If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I've got to see one of, with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. We have a Shinx! We can do this for you. Here, Shinx. Have a look. Alrighty, let's have a peek at those these round ears. That's it. Its ears have the yellow cross pattern on them. Kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and the bones are fought. Thanks for helping me get that bone out. Not a problem. Ooh, we've got some potions. That will be useful. So, let's head on out. So, let me just chuck out. No, yeah, chuck you out. I just want to... Ah, so it doesn't follow us. To the Fieldlands camp we go. And here we go. Rightio, let's go get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my boy. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. Okay, research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number and variety of research tasks. Press the down button to open your Pokedex. Then check what kinds of research tasks are available for the Pokemon you've registered. Okay. When you focus on a Pokemon, a wild Pokemon in the field using the ZL button, you can also instantly check the research tasks for that species by pressing the down button to open your Pokedex right to that page. Some Pokemon have some unusual research tasks, so be sure to check them out. Okay. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. One last piece of advice, Professor Squirtle. If you see a wild Pokemon's attack coming for you coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Okay, teach me. Here, watch closely and remember what I do so you can do it later. Yup. Ah, we're doing that sort of dodge. That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of a wild Pokemon's attack. That way, hopefully, you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. The security corps had to collect me when I got the business end of some Shinx's Thundershock. But don't you worry, I've got loads of experience to draw on and I'll teach you plenty. Sorry, there's just a lot of noise outside. Okay, well I actually want to talk to Lavington. Uh, for now, I suggest you. Okay, 
No, don't want to return there. Just wanted to see. If we could report to the professor, but we number you okay, so we need to evolve one, we need to catch five, and we need to see him use like aqua jet water pool. Okay, so it's 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 not too bad. So Dodge is using Y. There we go, I see Bidoof. Now let me share some Survey Corps wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon. With the ZL button, then press the down button to open your Pokedex. You'll see what tasks you have for that. Just learnt me that a minute ago. You might have noticed that you have a research task to do with how many Bidoof you've caught. That's right, catching just one isn't enough. You need two, then four, then more and more. And when it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the captains of switching wisdom if you if you have items out press x to ready your pokemon give it a try now if you want i'll go on ahead so i only had the one arrow so i'm not expecting to catch this Bidoof, but we did and i probably ought to of press the down button so like this okay number of he heavy specimens number defeated number of different forms you've obtained I'm assuming like the barrel Bidoof so I'm gonna catch this one let's go for that one Oh, we just caught a heavy specimen as well. Okay. So we're doing okay on the heavy specimen side of the doofs. We got our first one. What's this? Can I just pick this? Medical leak. I think you've got it, but as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you, you focus on a Pokemon to check your research tasks for it. It's just ZL then down. Try checking your tasks for your Starly next. One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? For that task, try catching them while hiding in some tall grass. Okay. I'll go wait for you up ahead. Come catch up once you've finished some tasks. So it was B. Focus on this. On a starly. Nope, that one spotted me. Try to aim higher than the Starly. <laughs> there we are, we're actually focusing on it now. Hey, we caught another one. Ah, so some of our Pokemon are actually leveling up as well. Any more Starlies? I just wanted to do this. Want some more berries? Thank you. Ooh, shinx. Wrong button. <laughs> Keep pressing A instead of B. So, she's over there. So just catch more, catch without being spotted. Oh, 
hit it. Hey, we got it. <laughs> and apparently without being spotted. Don't know how. And another one down. Hey, a lot of Pokemon are leveling up, so that's great. Just want to try and sort of make my way to Akari. Oh, Bidoof. Bidoof. <laughs> Caught them both. Oh, Starly. Was that a Starly? Or is it just a rock? Right, oh, it's the colour of the rock. Does that mean this? No. I want the leak though. Might as well battle with Oshawott. So we're gonna fight, and we have an Aqua Jet. Um, let's see, like research thing to do, where we witness Oshawott do. Aqua Jet so many times, so we might as well keep using it. Now, we did defeat the Shinx, I probably ought to have tried to catch it instead. So, it doesn't look like we can catch them after they faint, which is not really a big deal. Give me some more berries. So, what sort of rocks do we need? I bet it's Ah, I bet it's that rock there. That looks like the tumble stone rock colours. Ah, there we are, yeah. That's definitely it. Okay, so that's how you get tumble stone. I see a weasel. Can I catch that? Around here, you can find a Pokemon called Weasel. It's got an aggressive disposition. And I want it. That means it'll try to hit you with its moves, just like Shinx, and you'll need to battle it to catch it. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of the screen turn red. Damage goes away over time, but you won't begin to recover if you're still being... Okay. If you take further damage after the edges of the screen have turned red, you'll become overwhelmed and black out. Okay, pretty simple. And speaking of which, your research tasks for Weasel include seeing it use a certain move. To be precise, you have to see it use the move in battle. That's right, some tasks require battling. Now, I'll go on ahead. You take care of some of Weasel's research tasks, then come talk to me. Yes, Mom. So, I do see a Bidoof over there. I want to see if I can try and get that one first. Where are you, Bidoof? I get the medical leak. I keep pressing Y instead of X. Might as well get that tumble stone I saw there. Can we climb? Ah, we can climb. That's going to be great. Yeah, take a I'll show what to battle. So you just have to get over here. I don't want to get off my rock. Don't make me get off the rock. There we go. <laughs> I thought I'm safe up here. So, let's go with our Aqua Jet, because it is a research task. But I do want to catch this weasel. I know Aqua Jet's not very effective, but... More research tasks, we can find out what our rewards will be and stuff like that. Let's go. What? Wait. 
So that yeah, we've got two apricorns. An apricorn that's had its insides eaten. Hitting a Pokemon with one may stun the Pokemon. Oh, so you can even get spoiled apricorns then. I love that animation. We got Weasel. Okay. Right, so she... Ooh, Wormpool. Okay. No. I'm not. Sorry. Laptop's trying to tell me to uh, restart. Wait, where did Weasel go? Uh, Wormpool go. I don't know about there. Another Starly. Right, let's catch these two and we'll go and see what our Akara, Akara says. Has to say. Get in it. Yay, we caught Wormpool. I like the fact that you can also pick up items like that as well. So they are visible. Hmm. Is this apricorns? And then we're having all of these, then. Huh? Should probably try and get us to pick, get them in a second. No, oh. uh, I was going to say, how did I miss the tree from there? You're really doing quite well for yourself. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Okay. Can we use that sort of like when we're out in the field then? A kit containing everything you might need for crafting, even when there is no workbench around. However, you can only use the materials you have in your satchel. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, pardon me. You can select the crafting kit from the key items pocket in your satchel to craft items wherever and whenever you like. <laughs> Sorry, I've nearly got wind today. However, unlike a workbench, you'll only be able to use the materials in your satchel and won't be able to craft more items than your satchel can hold. Very useful. And here's a recipe for potions too. Medical herbs or flowers, I'm assuming. Yeah, medical leak and one orange berry. Orange berry. That's that's pretty cheap. With a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using any materials you'd have in your satchel. So long as you've got an apricorn and a tumble stone, you can make a perkable anytime. Or with an orange berry, orange berry, and medical leak, medicinal leak, not medical leak, you can make a potion. So, do heal your Pokemon. How goes your research? The cover of your Pokedex will tell you if there are tasks you finished and can report. Tasks with unreported data, 22. <laughs> I'm guessing that's good. Please report back to Professor Lavington once you've got some research tasks. Good and done. Well, I do want to see. I did hear a Pokemon. Ah, Wormpool. Get him a Pokeball. Nice. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Any other Pokemon knocking around that we want to catch? See a Wormpool all the way up there. Let's have a look. Ooh, stall over there. No, I wanted to open. No, focus on the worm pool, please. Okay, there we are. Number of light special. So catch without being spotted again. 
Uh, okay. Times you see it use poison sting, number evolved, yada yada yada. Let's just catch this one. <coughs> uh, let's get some more apricorns while we're here. This. Is that a worm? That's, it is a worm pool. Might as well get you while we're here, mate. Oh, there's even a light specimen. Okay, I do see that Starly over there. Let's head back to the professor. Just wanted to get the medicinal leak. So, I'm assuming we actually need to go this way. So, I'm just trying to have a nice look around and see what we can see, if there's anything else around. Might as well catch another Starly while we're here. Medicinal leak. Getting a lot of medicinal leaks. Okay, so it's back up that way. Okay, so it seems to be pretty much Pokemon free right now. Can I interact with this? It just seems out of... It's just pure decoration. That's fine. Oh. Now, I wonder, if I crouch and approach a Shinx, can we throw a Pokeball at it? We can. So we get the second one. Ooh. Here, battle my Oshida. So it's level four. And we've got the Aqua Jet. Mm. Let's catch it. Because why not? Trying to get focus on that Starly because I know it's not seen me yet. Well, it has now. Okay, so you don't even get the Pokeballs back when you throw them and miss. Bit of a shame, but it's it got out. I know I'm supposed to be over that way. Let's actually head that way. Can I make it up this little mountainy range? Just wondered if we could. Cause I can see grass over there. Uh, we'll go around it. It'll be fine. <laughs> Trying to be lazy. But it is nice. We hopefully might be able to see like X. Ooh, hello. Can I focus on you, Shinx? No, won't let me focus on him from there. Oh well, or she. Tumble stone, or tundle stone. Yeah, tumble stone. That's fine. Really is beautiful around here. Look at it. This is amazing. I am really loving this game. 
Okay. Oh, oh, if it isn't a crafting kit, you must have listened attentively to Akari's teachings. Excellent work, dear boy. This seems to seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. When you submit survey reports, you'll receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You'll receive more money if you've fulfilled certain conditions such as catching a species for the first time. On that note, let me check the research tasks you've completed this far. And just press A. Okay, so total Pokemon, we've got 21. 20 or more Pokemon in one report, achieved. Different Pokemon species, five. Pokemon caught for the first time. Pokemon caught using a backstrike. Not a clue what that is. But we've got 2,600 Poke coins, Poke dollars. That's pretty good, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this data now. Well, I don't know why. By carrying out research tasks and submitting survey reports, you'll raise the research levels of the Pokemon species you encounter. If you, re if you raise a Pokemon's entry to level 10, that entry will be considered complete and you will have unlocked all of the detailed information to be had about that species. As you carry out tasks and complete the Pokedex entries for different species, you'll also gain Pokemon research points, which can you can view on your on the on the cover of your Pokedex. Once you've earned a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up through the ranks of Galaxy Expedition Team. has only just been documented investigating is ongoing okay and then we have like shinx complete reach level 10 so we've completed shinx ah the tuft of hair Apparently, sir. Anyway, species species newly registered or updated. Okay. You've made good progress on these research tasks, Professor Squirtle. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Saline. It's time. You earned yourself a star. Okay, I am going to leave it here because my kids are about to walk through the door any minute and they're going to want to go on this. <laughs> and if I'm not off, you will hear me getting kicked off. <laughs> so, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please do leave a like. And while you're down there, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell. It really, really does help. And... Hopefully I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.